All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media, and my name is Judson Powell. I am the owner and CEO of Capri Television, and we invite you to uh, hook up with us any way you can, Capri TV, or just go Capri. Our, our website is capri.com, K-H-E-P-R-I-I, K-H-E-P-R-I-I.com, or you can check us out on the Roku. We do, we are on the Roku network, so you can check us out on Roku. You can go to the Roku channel store. All you have to do is type in K-H-E-P-R-I-I, K-H-P-P-R-I-I, Capri, and, um, type that in and then you can pull up the network okay right now uh we're showing we're showing basically music videos and stuff like that so uh but we are trying to upgrade our programming and everything and we're about to start uh a little fundraising and stuff like that so so please help us out uh if you could just watch that's that's perfect because uh the way the analytics and everything work now uh just by your presence is 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 enough all right all right, anyway, let me get on with the fastest 15 minutes. Um, voices sound a little bit better today, uh, but I, I wanna talk about why uh, we gotta keep on being, um, for lack of a better word, we gotta stop being bitches, all right? We gotta step up, it's time to step up. This is, we're, we're woke, everybody's woke. You know, everybody, was, you know, we even got politicians now talking about, uh, you know, Ron DeSantis talking about this is where woke goes to die and all that kind of stuff because they understand that woke people uh, are not good. They want dumb people. They want, they want the populace to stay dumb. And you can't do that. So you, you got you to gotta start waking up and you got to start taking action. You got to vote. Stop letting these trolls and all that stuff on the internet, you know, because I get them all the time. Oh, you know, you know, no. or stop letting people talk to you about uh, against voting for Biden because he's old or because this, that, and the other thing. But right now, if I got a choice between voting for Trump and Biden, I'm voting for Biden because Trump is, you know, Trump is a, a white nationalist. He is a racist. All right, and and he means he means nobody that that has my kind of skin. He don't mean none of us no good. So don't be stupid. All right, and 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 I will tell you this: I don't even have I don't have a political party. My me and my wife. In fact, but when my wife filled out our stuff, it's like, what did she put on there? She put on there nothing, you know, where, where it says, are you a Democrat or a Republican? You know, neither, you know, we are independents or whatever. What we do is we vote on the people that are doing the right thing by the issues that we have, all right? The right thing by the issues that we have, not the people, not because they got a Democrat or a Republican in front of them, or because at the time it will put our best interest forward as opposed to putting our best interest in the back burner. All right. So we got to, and we got to start stepping up to the pump and, and we got to start fighting back with these people. All right. Because they are making it blatantly clear. I mean, they're making it blatantly clear now how racist, how, uh, how homophobic they are, how anti, uh, how misogynist and, and patriarchal they are, and all this kind of stuff. Okay, and, and we got some people that are, you know, we got some black people that are like that too, but we gotta get out of this stuff. And women, especially white women, y'all are absolutely nuts to keep on following conservatives because just like they did with Roe v. Wade and whatever, they don't want, they, they don't think women should have rights. All you are to them is an extension of, of your husband or whatever your husband does. That's all you are to them. You have no, you have no right to, to a life and you have no right to say what you do with your own body. Listen to me, you have no right to life or what you do with your own body. And let's go back in history, all right? In history, the first slaves were women because of your, they were able to buy and sell you. The same thing is true. That's how come marriage, marriages were what? Marriages were a, a, 
a, a sales thing. Your father sold you off to the highest bidder, basically. That's what happened and you had no choice in it. We are not living, we are not living in the dark ages anymore, ladies. And like I said, especially white women, y'all gotta wake up and stop voting against your best interests. You know, and I know you, I know you want to stay with old boy and then this, that, and the other thing. And, and I'm not saying I'm not saying break up with him or nothing like that, but when you go in the voting booth, he's not in there with you. That's what makes the voting booth so great. Ain't nobody in the voting booth but you. <laughs> so when you go in there, do the things that's gonna be in your best interest. They underhandedly overturned Roe v. Wade without even having a case that had legitimate standing. There was the case that they, that they overturned Roe v. Wade on didn't have le legitimate standing in the Supreme Court, period. There was no reason to grant that case certiori at all, period. It wasn't even a real case. It was a it was a hypothetical case. You know, it's like it's like that's what that's what my wife does with me in the bed at night. Well, honey, if such and such and such and such and such and such happened, and such and such and such, and what would you do? You know, well, what what I would do and what should actually be done or what might be done under the circumstances in the real world is an entirely 100% different thing. And this whole overturn of Roe v. Wade, that's all it was. It was a hypothetical case. The woman didn't even have a legitimate injury. And I don't even understand, I don't even understand how they took jurisdiction over the case in the first place. Period, at all, not a, not a, there is no reason for it. All right, so you got stuff like this going on and all of this stuff is being backed by billionaire, large time billionaire conservatives and the other thing, the tax cuts, they added almost $8 trillion, depending on who you talk to, between, between five and $8 trillion to the national debt because of the tax cut that Trump put through for rich people, which, 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 only affected the top like 3% of the people in the in the country. It told them, okay, well basically you don't have to pay taxes anymore. And so now we don't have any money. And we keep on and the and the and the the the, the dog going the, the 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 country keeps running out of money. We gotta keep on going back every every now and then oh we we gotta oh, you know what's going on and then they then they attach all kinds of stuff to these to these bills in order to refund the country so they attach something to it and they say oh well, we, we won't we won't roll we'll out all we'll allow the country just to you know to go under and whatever so more so than term limits there's got to be limits on what we can do as far as taxes and all of that and there needs to be look everybody needs to pay their fair share it's like some people, some people in the middle class are like almost at 40%. And then, and then that's not even, and, and, and let me explain what, where I get that number from. Because you pay your federal taxes, you pay your state taxes. Then when you go shopping, you go to the grocery store, you pay taxes. When you buy your gas, you pay taxes. Almost everything that you can buy, you get taxed for it. So by the time you end up paying all the taxes that you owe, you're, you're like way over 40% of everything that you make is paid in taxes, which leaves you what? 60%. 60%. And I'm talking, this is everybody. This ain't, and this ain't a black or white thing. It ain't got nothing to do with race. It ain't got nothing to do with anything. It's just, you broke. And that's why I keep telling people they and they try to make the whole racial thing the black versus white divide is bullshit. The black versus white divide is bullshit. What it is is it is the wealthy versus the poor. It is the wealthy versus the middle and is and really the middle class. 
because slowly but surely they're just cutting the poor out they don't even care you know all these people we got all of these homeless people since reagan let, listen to me now since reagan was in office that's when we started seeing an uptick of homeless people in the united states before that people were homeless because they wanted to be not because they had to be now people are homeless because they don't have a choice and everybody, and the, and the funny thing about it is 90%, and this is a, a horrible statistic, 90% of everybody in the United States of America is, is close to being homeless. One catastrophic event away from being homeless. And what we also don't realize, there are a bunch of children who have food insecurities who don't know if they're going to get a meal tonight, tomorrow night, or whenever, which is, which is horrible, which is horrible. We are the richest, and we got more money than any country on the face of the earth. And that's why, and that's why everybody, and, and why, and that's one of the things that's going on with this whole shift of Brax, and you know, I'll talk about that in another video, but that's, that's why people are starting to wake up. Africa is starting to wake up. Africa, look, they've been, the French have been stealing from Africa and have been giving nothing back to Africa for, for, for decades. And they just been going in there, stealing their natural resources, stealing, you know, stealing their people, resources, everything. But what's the return on the investment? What's the return on what, on what we give it? We not getting nothing back. So we got to stand up and stop, and stop this BS and start fighting for one another. And, it, and like I said, and it, and, it, and it has very little to do with race. Stop letting the, you know, even I get caught up in that sometimes. And I'm like, look, stop getting caught up in race because it ain't really about race. That's not really what it's about. What it's about is the rich versus the poor. And then the and like I said, in the middle class are really the ones getting the squeeze because they got a little bit of money and they just want to take all the little bit of money that you got and want to squeeze it out of you so that so that you're basically operating as a poor person. The the rich need to pay their fair share. There's no reason why corporate executives should be getting triple digit million bonuses and stuff like that at the end of the year that's ridiculous there's no or even double digit million bonuses that's that's ridiculous that there should be a that that should be illegal especially when we got people out on the street and then somebody was saying there's like a, a billion like a billion dollars could solve homelessness and hunger a billion dollars and then you look at some of these billionaires and they got triple digit billions of dollars. But yet and still, they're voting, they're voting people in, they're doing stuff, and they're trying to, and to, to oppress people even more. And the thing about all of these uh, white nationalist Republicans, all they're trying to do is take away your rights. You ain't never heard not one of them come out and say, yeah, we're, we're trying to make sure that, you know, they, oh, don't have an abortion. But when the baby gets here, fuck the baby. We ain't taking care of the motherfucker. You know, let the baby starve to death on the street. That's real Christian, ain't it? Excuse my French. But that's what, that's basically what they're saying. That's basically their their whole their whole game. Their whole scheme is, oh, we you know, they and then they try to act like there's so much on family values. Well then help these families out. Start start handing out welfare. If you're gonna give somebody help, then help them before the family is all broken up and all screwed up. Then y'all wanna come in and say, Oh, you know, y'all broken up and screwed up. So we'll we'll throw a we'll throw a couple bucks in food stamps your way. None of those social programs work and none of them are set up like they were originally set up. The reason why they don't work is because of greed, because of corporate greed. That's why none of them work. So we got to start fighting back. We got to we got we got to be belligerent and we got to be unified. Everybody. And I'm and I'm talking about outside talking about I'm talking about black people, 
white people. I'm talking about uh, people with, with, you know, the, the LBGTQ plus community, all of those people, everybody that has any type of uh, grievance against the, against the, the society or the rich or whatever, then we need to fight against that. And, the, and all of these Trumpers, Trumpers, y'all need to wake up too because Trump don't give a about you. He don't even like poor white people. <laughs> Anyway, fastest 15 minutes is up. My name is Judson Powell. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. But most of all, hit the love button. Capri.com. Capri.com.